Hey guys, welcome to Gardening Upbeat and I truly hope that you are doing really very well. Now this video is all about 15 of the best plants that bloom throughout the whole year. So let's begin the list without wasting a single second. The very first plant is Zarbera daisy. Many people call it as Garbera as well. Now the best thing about Zarbera is, see once you plant them, you can expect the blooms be it either winter, spring or even summer time as well. You can provide your Zarbera plants the whole day of sunlight in the winter time, but in the summer time, please try to protect your plants from too much of direct sunlight. The second plant is really very beautiful, but it's not popular like many other plants. The name of the plant is Torenia. It's a low maintenance plant and they bloom throughout the whole year. That's why I am showing you the recording date on the screen as well. The third plant is Zetropha. Again, one non-stop bloomer and if you are expecting the blooms throughout the whole year, then I would highly recommend you to grow the Zetropha plant at your home. I am growing my plant directly in the ground and it's not blooming heavily as I have many other plants near to my Zetropha plant. For example, I have the Tecoma just near to the Zetropha plant. On number 4 we have Bougainvillea. I really don't think that you don't know about Bougainvillea as they are one of the most popular plants all over the world. I have many different varieties of Bougainvillea plants and I already uploaded one video where I have shown all the plants which I have currently with me. On number 5 we have Cosmos, one of the most easiest plants that you can grow and they self seed really very fast. That's why in many places they grow just like weeds. However, there is a very important thing that you should consider. See Cosmos is not a permanent plant, that means it's not a perennial plant and it's grown mostly as annual. That's why please sow the seeds in the February for summer flowering and sow the seeds either in the August or even September for winter flowering. On number 6 we have Coreopsis. Looks extremely similar to Cosmos and again it's an annual plant. That means for summer flowering, you need to sow the seeds at the end of February and for winter flowering, you can sow the seeds either in the month of August or even September. Pentas is the next plant and it's one of the most beautiful and non-stop flowering plants. In the winter time, you can provide your Pentas whole day of sunlight but in the summer time, if possible, please try to grow it under a green net or if it's not possible, then please provide your plants only the morning sunlight. So let's say 4 to 5 hours of morning sunlight would be just perfect in the summer time. Too much of direct sunlight is not good for pentas and if it happens then petals are not going to open properly. The next plant which is in our list is Finca. These are my trailing Vincas and if you are expecting the blooms throughout the whole year then please grow either the hybrid variety or the trailing Vinca because if you are going to grow the desi varieties then they are not going to bloom in the winter time.
On number 9, we have clematis. If you are looking for some fragrant plants, then you should grow clematis at your home. Very beautiful plants as you can see, but uh, there is one thing that I should inform you. See, like many other plants, whatever I have shown you before, clematis is not a non-stop bloomer and they blooms in a cycle. So let's say they are blooming fully in the month of December, then again they are going to take, let's say, one month or two months to bloom again. On number 10, we have garlic creeper. Similar to clematis, it's also not a non-stop bloomer. Garlic creeper also blooms in a cycle and they usually take, let's say, three to four months in between blooming. On number 11, we have zinnia. Now, zinnia is again one of the most popular plants all over the world, but please note that they are grown as annual. That's why for summer flowering, please sow the seeds in the month of February, and for winter flowering, you can sow the seeds in the month of September. On number 12, we have marigold. Again, it's also grown as annual and for the winter flowering, you can grow the African marigold and French marigold. African marigolds are quite big as you can see here and for the summer blooming, please grow the French marigold. If you want to grow the African marigold in the summertime, you are not going to get good result. The next plant is lantana. In many places it's also known as witch, but uh, I would say they are really very beautiful and attractive as you can see here. If you are able to provide them everything, they are also going to bloom throughout the whole year non-stop. This one, that's my new flower. On number 14, we have the queen of flowers, that is the rose. Now I know that many people are not going to agree with me, like roses don't bloom in the summertime. But it's not true and believe me, with little bit of care, we can definitely force our rose plants to bloom even in the summertime as well. However, if you are worrying whether your plants are going to bloom in the summer or not, then please grow the desi or the local variety of rose plants because they bloom throughout the whole year without taking much care. Anyway, I do have a video about complete summer rose care and uh, in that video I have also shown how we can get lots of flowers even in the summertime. If you are interested to know, then please watch the video sim simply clicking on the i button on top right corner. Finally, the last plant in our list is First Love. It's a quite low maintenance plant, but drawback is they take quite a long time in between blooming and sometimes they only blooms twice per year. But anyway, it's a low maintenance plant and it's a perennial permanent plant. So you just need to grow them once and then you would be able to enjoy the blooms throughout the whole year. So guys, these were the 15 of the best plants that bloom throughout the whole year. But please also consider growing some more other plants. For example, you can grow bleeding heart because bleeding heart starts to bloom from around April and it continues to bloom till even December. 
On second, I would highly recommend you to grow the hybrid hibiscus because they also bloom throughout the whole year. But please also note that hybrid hibiscus may not bloom if temperature goes above 40 degrees Celsius and if it comes below 10 degrees Celsius. On third, you can also grow the tiger alamanda because of the same thing like they also bloom from April to December. I believe you found the video useful but uh, to be honestly saying there are still some more plants that we can grow and enjoy the blooms throughout the whole year. I am just ending the video right here because I know you hate watching long video and it's already more than 10 minutes. Thank you very much for watching the video. I truly appreciate it. Have a great day and enjoy.